Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see how to create a snake game. First of all, let's open Courtford. Now we are going to create a new project with the Hello World template. Now for this project we are going to open the new preview panel that you can find it here or by opening a KT file here too. While the project is loading, we are going to download the required assets. So first of all, we are going to download this, this file set. Um, now it's here. So we are going to use this as for, for this example. We can open it in Ace Sprite and it's uh, this is a tile set. First of all, this is a tile set. A tile set is a, a set of tiles that we are going to repeat over the, over a grid uh, depending on, on what we want to display in, in its place. So, for example, here we have the, um, the blocks that are going to be the, the walls, and here we have the snake, and an apple the snake will, will have to chase. So first of all, let's now now that it's uh, this the project is open. Now let's open the main file, and we are going to uh, start reviewing this. So now we have here the the game in our window and open it here and. Let's just start removing this, and we are going to load the, the tile set first. And to do that, we have to use the resources and then load this. And we are going to load this as a bitmap. Uh, now we are going to create a tile set from this base bitmap and each tile is 16 by 16 and the number of columns is, is going to be detected. Uh, by the way, this will require slicing. It's a slice of the bitmap. And then we have the tiles. Uh, we are going to maybe base bitmap. We are going to display the, the base bitmap here. Um, there is another. Um, we, we first we have to include the base. That's a spread. So this is the this is the, the, the full tile set and then we, we can get specific tiles. Um this is this is a slice but it's not so here we have Thanks. And this is the text. Now we are going to create a tile map. A tile map is a tile map data. It's, it's a set of of information of tile map data with a tile set. Tile set. We are going to use this tile set. Now we have the tile map and we we can set its position for um, 
we can set its position Okay, so um, so yeah, we we have to set the positions with index. So we are going to iterate. And we are going to set for its position a specific time. So as you can see, here we had the uh, here we had the tiles, the tiles here, and and by index we can set uh, the the specific uh, tile we, uh, for a specific position. For example, for this, um, in this case, I'm setting the all the grid. The grid is sixteen by sixteen. I can make it bigger. Um, and. And now we have all those tiles. In Corge, we also have um, the possibility of, instead of, now I have changed this one. Um, so in addition to, In addition to changing a tile, there is another operation that is push a tile in a specific position. So in this case, this pushing for each position in the grid we have like layers, and we can not only set a, a tile there but also put several tiles in there. And we can also uh, rotate them. So, for example, slice rotation. Um, I can rotate it. Slice rotation. Slice orientation. Slice orientation. We can rotate it. And let me remove this. If I set the tile to minus one or invalid. This is going to to display to not display any kind of file. So yeah, as you can see here, let me add um, this. Um, no, not this one. So. This one. So when I'm going to press the right, the right key, I'm going to get that tile. I'm going to get tile this tile from here, and I'm going to rotate it to the right. So if I press the right, it is going to take it. I can also flip it uh, by, but since this tile is not, let me use other tile. I put this one. Um, without rotation, so I can flip it um, horizontally and vertically. Uh, it has to be rotated. 
So, so yeah, I can we can put tiles from this tile set and we can put them rotated, flip it in the index index and in the y position. So so yeah that's that's for the tile set and the tile maps. So what we are going to do is to uh, for, for the snake is to render the specific tiles for for the snake and then we will use uh, we will put blocks for for the walls and everything so so i'm going to stop here and i will continue in a separate video uh, where i will explain how to create the snake itself and how to how to render it then we will see how to <clears throat> how to use this library the tile pattern matching that will allow us to um, to define specific patterns uh, for for specific um, in the grid to use these um, these tiles uh, rotated flipped to to render all the possible um, all the possible position all, all the possible combinations for 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 displaying the bot okay so that's it for now and see you in the next video